So what is the magnetic effect of the current? As we already discussed this part, that whenever a current is passing through a wire, it produces a magnetic field. So this is known as the magnetic effect of the current. Example, we have a wire which is carrying a current. So it will produce a magnetic field. The magnetic field lines, we can represent the magnetic field by using the magnetic field lines. And for a straight wire, these magnetic field lines will be circular. And when we draw these magnetic field lines, the first two field lines should be closer to each other. Reason for that, because near the wire, the magnetic field is stronger. But away from the wire, the magnetic field is weaker. That's why when we draw the field lines away from the wire, the spacing between the lines should be more. Because the spacing between the lines represent the strength of a magnetic field. So stronger magnetic field, the field lines will be closer to each other. Weaker magnetic field, the field lines will be apart from each other or have a greater spacing. How we can work out the direction of a magnetic field? So to work out the direction of a magnetic field, we'll use a Fleming's, uh, we'll use a right-hand grip rule. What is a right-hand grip rule? According to right-hand grip rule, you have to use the right hand. Your thumb represents the direction of the current and your fingers will turn around. Example, if this wire is carrying a current, and I say current is going top of the page or up. And I want to find the direction of a magnetic field. So what will be the direction of a magnetic field? Direction of a magnetic field will be around it. So my thumb should represent the direction of the current and fingers will turn around. So thumb is pointing up and fingers turn around it. So the field lines will be in this manner. But if the direction of the current is opposite, like if the current is going down, then the same rule you will use, but instead of thumb pointing up, because thumb represent the direction of the current. So if the current is going up, your thumb should point up. If current is going down, your thumb should point down. So our thumb will point downward and fingers will turn around it. So to find the direction of a magnetic field for a straight wire, which is carrying a current, a straight wire, so you will always use a right hand grip rule. And in a right hand grip rule, your thumb represent the direction of the current and your fingers will turn in the direction of magnetic field. For example, figure shows a cross section of a wire which is carrying current into. On figure 10.1, sketch a magnetic field lines and detail, the detail of your sketch should suggest the variation of a strength. Like our sketch should also represent how the magnetic field lines are varying. So what is the meaning of current into the paper? So example, we have, so what is the meaning of current into the paper? Like example, if this is the paper, the, magnet, the, current, the current is going into the paper. So how we represent for this, the thumb using a right hand, using a right hand rule, you will find right hand grip rule. Your thumb should represent the direction of the current which is into and your fingers will turn around it. So if I apply the rule here for this one, my thumb should represent in the direction of the current because in this case, the cross means the current is into. So current is pointing into and my fingers will turn around, which represent the direction of a magnetic field. So when I complete the figure, First thing for a straight wire, it should be a circular magnetic field. So one, two, the first two field lines should be closer to each other. Using a compass, you will draw this in exam. The first two field lines should be closer and the second and the third should have more spacing. What is the reason for that? Because that shows the strength of a magnetic field is decreasing. Near the wire, it is a stronger magnetic field and away from the wire, it is weaker magnetic field. And how to identify the direction, as I mentioned, you will use the right hand. You will use the right hand rule, right hand grip rule. So thumb represent the direction of a current which is pointing into and fingers will turn around. So what is the direction of a magnetic field? So this will be the direction of a magnetic field.
same way if for example the similar question as we did in the last slide on the last slide that figure 10.1 shows a wire that is carrying a current into on a figure draw an arrow on each circle to show the direction of magnetic field so use a screen annotation to show the direction of a magnetic field what will be the direction of a magnetic field for this you can annotate on the screen remember your thumb point in the direction of a current uh, and your fingers will turn in the direction of magnetic field that is right so your thumb is pointing in the direction of a current and fingers turn around so this is the correct position of a magnetic field and state why the spacing of a circle increases as the distance from a wire increases so what is the reason for that because spacing between the circle represent the strength of a magnetic field so the strength of a magnetic field decreases As the strength of a magnetic field decreases, that's why the spacing between the lines is increasing. Another similar question: Figure nine point two represent a current in a wire. The current is into the paper. So the direction of a current is reverse the magnitude of the. First, we have to draw the pattern, and show clearly the direction of a magnetic field so whenever we are using whenever we want to draw the direction of a magnetic field for a current we'll use a right hand rule cross means your thumb should point into so my thumb should point into the screen into the paper and my fingers will turn around so the direction in which my fingers rotate that represent the direction of a magnetic field so when we complete this the first two field lines should be closer to each other but the th second and the third will have more spacing why greater spacing it shows that the strength is decreasing and when we represent so this will be the direction of a magnetic field sometime they ask show by an arrow like the direction in which the compass needle will point like example if i place a compass here at this point if i place a compass at this point so how the compass needle will point the compass needle will always point in the same as the direction of a magnetic field so in this case if they ask to draw a compass needle so it will point in the same manner how the magnetic field is pointing so the direction as in a wire which is carrying a current magnetic field is around it so direction of a compass needle will change according to the position of a compass if i place a compass at this point the direction of a needle will be different as compared to if i place a compass needle on the opposite side then the second part the direction of a current is reverse the magnitude of the current is unchanged state the effect that reversing a current has so what will be the effect because the direction of a magnetic field depends on the direction of the current so if we are reversing the current changing the direction of a current what will happen the direction of a magnetic field will be reversed another question a magnet is removed and the horizontal current uh, carrying wire is left on it on its own so there is a current carrying conductor figure shows the direct the current current from p to q on figure 9.2 sketch the pattern of a magnetic field due to a current carrying conductor or due to the current in the wire and indicate the direction of the field that is one thing so how we can represent again what we have to do we have to use a right hand grip rule so according to a right hand grip rule my thumb should point in the direction of the current and my fingers will turn around it so when we complete 
on the figure the direction of a magnetic field so field lines will be around it first two field lines should be closer the third one should be should have a greater spacing the second and the third should have more spacing and the direction of a magnetic field using a right hand grip rule so this will be the direction of a magnetic field the second part the current in p and q is increased state the effect of this change on the magnetic field the strength of a magnetic field depends on the amount of the current which we are passing so effect on changing the current on magnetic field direction will not change that because direction is not changed if we increase the amount of current so it will produce the strength of a magnetic field will will increase but it does not affect the direction direction remains the same only the strength will increase figure 10.1 and 10.2 shows two views of a vertical wire which is carrying a current up point p and q are marked on the card so they represent point p and q figure 10.2 is there which we are looking the card above draw a complete magnetic field lines through p which indicate uh, and indicate its direction with an arrow so we have to draw on figure 10 we don't have to draw on 10.1 we have to draw on 10.2 so what is the direction of a magnetic field because when we are looking from the top like example if this was a wire say this is a paper we are looking from the top so if we are looking from the top the current is going up so when the current is going up my thumb should point out out of the screen and fingers will turn around it so my when my fingers will turn around it so the direction of a magnetic field and we have to draw the magnetic field line through p which indicate the direct and indicate the direction with an arrow so the source is this vertical wire and magnetic field around like this which would pass through p as well as they mentioned in the question and we have to indicate the uh, indicate by an arrow the direction of the magnetic field so what is the direction of a magnetic field this will be the direction of magnetic field because they only ask draw a complete magnetic field line so we don't have to draw all of them we just have to draw one line then draw an arrow through q to indicate the direction of a compass in which a compass placed at q would point so if we place a compass at this position which direction it will point as i mentioned earlier that the compass needle will point in the same as the direction of magnetic field so if we have example if this was a field line then how the compass needle will point the compass needle will point in this manner so we have we just have to draw an arrow so this will be the arrow which represent the direction of a compass needle we don't have to draw the line here we just have to draw an arrow through q which indicate the direction of a, a compass needle so compass needle also if i place a compass at this point it will point in this manner so the compass needle will change its direction because the direction of a magnetic field is continuously changing so we just have to draw for q then state the effect on direction in which the compass q points if we increase the current if we increase the current strength of a current only affect the strength of a magnetic field but not the direction so direction will not change so it will remain same or no change you can say if we reverse the direction of the current if the current is in opposite direction what will happen now the arrow the compass needle will point in opposite direction so by reversing a direction of a current 
it reverses the direction of a compass needle level. So it will be in opposite direction. Figure 10.3 shows a view from above of another vertical carrying uh, wire carrying a current up a centimeter grid is marked on the card and point W is one centimeter. So this, this is a centimeter grid. So each point like from one line to another, it is one centimeter. State the magnetic field strength at S, T and W. So we have to mention what is the magnetic field strength at S, T and W compared to R. So if we compare the magnetic field strength as, and we have to use either the term weaker, same strength or stronger. So if we compare with R, R is one centimeter from the wire compared to R S. S is closer to each other or we can say half centimeter. So when we compare the strength of a magnetic field as S is closer to a wire, so it will have a stronger magnetic field. What about T? T is same distance as R. R is one centimeter, T is also one centimeter. So it will be same. What about W? That is also one centimeter. R is also one centimeter. So that will also be same. So if the point is closer to the wire, it will experience stronger magnetic field as compared to the points which are away from the wire or the strength of a magnetic field as we move away from the wire decreases. Another question, figure 9.1 shows an apparatus used to investigate the electromagnetic effect around a wire, straight wires. Figure 9.2 and figure 9 .2 is a view looking down from top, like we are looking from here at this point, point. We are looking from the top, this card. So it appeared that the current is coming out. The battery is connected from T1 to T2. We connect a battery here. So there's a current vertically down. So current is vertically down or going into. So when we look from the top, it appeared that the current is into the paper. On figure 9.2, draw three magnetic field lines and indicate with an arrow the direction of all three. So because the current is into, if the current is into, We'll use a right hand grip rule. According to right hand grip rule, thumb should point in the direction of the current, which is into, and fingers will turn around. So the magnetic field lines for this one will be around it. So the magnetic field line, the first two should be closer, and the third one should have a greater distance. Second and third should have more distance which shows that the strength of a magnetic field is decreasing. Then part B, using a variable resistor, the voltage or the potential between the terminal T1 and T2 gradually reduce. State the effect, if any, that will have on the strength of a magnetic field. We are just only reducing the strength of a current, like amount of the current or voltage. So strength of a magnetic field will decrease. It will produce weaker magnetic field because small amount of current will pass through this wire. But what happened to direction of a magnetic field? Direction of a magnetic field only depends on the direction of the current. So because the direction of magnetic field is not changing, so the direction of magnetic, the direction of the current is not changing. So the direction of a magnetic field does not change or it will remain same. So we always use a right hand grip rule to find the direction of a current, a direction of a magnetic field due to a current carrying conductor. But sometime you may have another wire, a circular wire or a wire which is having multiple turns, which that is known as a solenoid. So wire which is having a multiple turns, we call that as a solenoid. How to work out the direction of magnetic field for a solenoid? The same thing, we will use right hand grip rule, but this time 
for a solenoid right hand grip rule your fingers will turn in the direction of the current like if a current is going up my thumb should my fingers should point up i will catch the wire and my thumb will point in the direction of a magnetic north so fingers represent the direction of the current and thumb represent the direction of magnetic north so in this example if a current is going up if i catch the wire on the left hand side i will have a north pole if the direction of the current reverses then my fingers should point down and in that case on the right hand side i will have the north pole so direction of the poles will change as the direction of the current changes and the strength of a magnetic field produced by a solenoid depends on the amount of the current the number of the turns and also presence like if there is a magnetic material on which this wire is turned around that will produce or enhance the magnetic field or strength of a magnetic field so right hand grip rule is used to find the direction of magnetic field due to a current carrying conductor 